Okay, a couple of things. One, the social programs are provincial, and conservative governments are already cutting those services. Two, you ain't fucking special. We all work our asses off. What, 93% employment? And of those that are unemployed, that also includes the elderly, the disabled, veterans, and people that are temporarily out of the workforce, new parents, that kind of thing. Social services are like what? For a single with no dependents, 400 bucks a month. The max for people that have dependents or children is what? $700? Ain't nobody choosing to live that life. That is rock bottom and a last resort. And our social services will kick you off after a few months. They're designed as a temporary measure unless there's extenuating circumstances. And lastly, 61% of Canada are to the left of the Conservative Party. So instead of acting like children, telling us that you want to put us on the streets because you know the Conservative government won't do anything to help people, why don't you try appealing to us, telling us why your side is better? What will the Conservative Party do for Canadians? Because slashing social spending and giving it off to their billionaire donors ain't going to help us. So what is my reason to vote Conservative? Why would I? When they are a thousand times more pro-corporate than the Liberals are, why would I do that? Going back and forth between two pro-corporate parties is foolish, and I definitely ain't going to the one that's parroting bigoted American propaganda, obsessing over trans people, parroting anti-vax shit, disagree with the average conservative, and you're likely to get a death threat or an ad hominem attack. Why would I team up with those people? Like, the only reason that you guys ever stand a chance in elections in Canada is because the left splits its votes four different ways. Like, if you keep acting like fucking toddlers and insulting people, you're probably going to end up into a situation where conservatives never hold power again. Like, put the partisan bullshit aside. That is going to happen. Society gets more and more progressive as time goes on. That's just a fucking fact. So with each new generation... Your chances of winning become less and less likely as more and more people become a voting age and start paying attention and voting in politics. Well, the party that refuses to adapt to the times will get left behind. And I'm not advocating in favor for any particular party. But if you guys want to start winning elections, put down the American bullshit. Go more towards Aaron O'Toole and less towards Pierre. Because whether you like it or not, Many Canadians find him distasteful, find the type of people that he surrounds himself with and a lot of you detestable. We do not want American-style politics to infiltrate Canada. And I know, I know, this is going to fall on deaf ears because it's not about policy anymore, it's about feelings. But what the fuck are the Conservatives going to do that would be better than Trudeau? Cutting social programs, cutting healthcare, education, all that shit social services, disability, isn't going to sway people. Whether you like it or not, you see it with the trans community. Society is becoming more compassionate. Now, I personally don't think Pierre is going to end up being prime minister. I think the best he can hope for is to squeak out a minority government made toothless by the liberals and the NDP, which they could also form a coalition to stop them and keep the conservatives out of power, which do you really think that's too far-fetched? Politicians love power. Drew will hold on to it. There are three different ways that we could keep you guys out of government. And what I think will happen, largely because of voter apathy, will be that Pierre will probably get a minority government, which will be immediately called into a new election. Because Pierre is not popular in key ridings throughout Ontario, he's not popular in Quebec, and it's pretty damn fucking hard to win elections that way. Whether you like it or not, he needs to get more seats than the Liberals. And a Conservative majority is very unlikely in the current climate. We all have buyer's remorse from Doug Ford. So if you guys actually want to win the election, forget about the little polls that polled a thousand boomers with landlines. If you actually want to win an election, explain to Ontario why your way is better. Demand that Pierre and other conservative MPs introduce legislation that would actually help the working class because any sitting member of parliament can introduce legislation. And conservatives almost have as much seats as the Liberals. They don't need very many votes to pass legislation. They passed two with the NDP recently. And the NDP would love that power play. 
And the NDP would love that kind of power play, seeing as an opportunist. He doesn't give a flying shit, whether it's the Liberals or the NDP, that pass bills. They want to gain a couple seats. That's their goal. They are not necessarily concerned with winning an entire election. So, like, all this partisan bullshit, party politics is just performance, and it's meant to keep us divided, and it's so they can retain the power structures that be. Conservative, liberal, we're all fucking citizens at the end of the day. We all want the same thing, a better life for us and our family. You just don't care about anyone other than your family. You view things as important to you and your community, whereas liberal, progressive, and left-leaning people view all of us as a collective. But we need to get back to where we're actually discussing policy. So let's hear some conservative policy, because Axe the Tax is just a slogan. Carbon tax is a conservative plan, was brought in under a conservative government. All Trudeau did was add the rebate for the working class. What Pierre would do is keep the carbon tax on those goods, but then allow corporations to pass the buck onto us, where we'd end up paying for it. Still keep the carbon tax, you just change it to a different name to fool people. And also, it is mandated federally and implemented at the provincial level. In Ontario, we had a pretty good system. It was the cap and trade and Doug Ford scrapped it. What's an actual policy that would help the working class in any meaningful way? Just give me one. What policy? Cutting social programs? That's stupid. I know you've been taught to hate people, but we all pay into the system so that it's there if we ever need it. And it's a shit system, but it's better than nothing. Now, housing is provincial, but there are certain things that can be done at the federal level and stuff. So if Pierre becomes prime minister, how's he going to do anything to help the housing crisis? He's voted against affordable housing every chance he's gotten. Guy's a fucking slumlord himself. How's he going to control grocery store price gouging, considering his top advisor is a current Loblaws lobbyist? Like, are, is all you're concerned about is owning the libs? Bite your nose to spite your face? Because the conservatives are more corrupt than the liberals are. And the liberals are corrupt. I don't like any of the politicians. I don't know why you seem to be simping so hard for one. He's a shameless fucking grifter, snake oil salesman, emulating and copying American-style politics, specifically Trump-style politics. The other day, just went to a fucking camper, went and hung out with a bunch of people protesting the Axe the Tax bullshit, and was seen with freaking white supremacist logos. Like, if you guys at least just admitted that you liked that he parroted to the people that hate what you hate, I'd at least, well, I wouldn't respect it, but at least you'd be consistent. What is it about the Conservative Party that I should be voting for? Because if you guys actually had policy that would help the working class, I'd vote for you. If you didn't target and harass marginalized groups, I'd vote for you. But where a lot of the country is at now is damage control, and people will be voting strategically anything but Conservative. Whatever candidate can take a seat from a conservative, which is what prevents actual change from happening. Stop supporting the conservative party, and we will gladly stop supporting the liberal party. We'll gladly stop supporting the NDP. Going with the lesser of all evils is what has gotten us into the position where no actual grassroots candidate has a chance. Instead, we get these career politicians like both Trudeau and Pierre, who have learned to play the game. Because that's all it is to them, is a game. So why are you playing it? Make them earn your vote. And don't wait for an election cycle. Let's see your MP in your local riding bring forward bills. Don't just vote for them because you found a meme on Facebook that you liked and want to vote against Trudeau. That's just childish.